to everyone. Welcome in the secret place. This is your Pastor Yeti. We are in Psalm 15 and I'm going to talk about dwelling in God's presence. Let me read first Psalm 15. Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live on your holy mountain? The one whose walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from their heart, whose tongue utters no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbor, and casts no slur on others, who despises a vile person, but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts, and does not change their mind, who lends money to the poor without interest, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does those things will never be shaken. Our key verse, O Lord, who may abide in your tent who may dwell in your holy hill? Who who walks with integrity and works righteousness and speaks truth in their heart? So as you heard Psalm 15 verses 1 to 2 and but in another translation. Our greatest desire should always be to abide in the presence of the Lord. The greatest joy is to be aware of him within our lives and throughout the day and in everything we encounter. God is there. We have access to the Father through Jesus Christ. He will never leave us or forsake us. But how do we experience the abiding? What gives us an awareness of living, dwelling, working, and walking in His holy presence. Obviously, that must be the desire of our hearts, the pursuit of our life, the longing within our mind and thoughts. Christ has come to indwell our life. He wants us to enjoy the reality of his presence daily. The psalmist describes five characteristics that must be reflected in our life and five things we must avoid if we are to be mindful of that reality. We must walk with integrity and that is practice absolute honesty and transparency. We must do works of righteousness. This comes not from our ability but because of his righteousness within us, guiding us and empower us to do what is good. We must speak truth in our hearts, and it's not just our words. The most devious lies are self-deceit, the pretense of thinking we are something we are not. We will not speak with represent truth if we do not recognize it, and acknowledge it within. We honor those who fear the Lord. Those are the people who are our models and mentors. We represent them and seek to follow, and seek to follow their example. Look for them. There are a lot of impressive Christians, but the genuine ones reflect an awesome fear and reverence for the Lord. It is the motive for their obedience. Our commitment is unchanging, even if it brings hurts to us. God honors the one who is steadfast, unwavering, not easily influenced and persuaded by others. One who is willing to suffer and make sacrifices to walk faithfully with the Lord. There are also five negative characteristics 
that will not be the practice of one who dwells with the Lord. These are obviously contrary to God's nature and therefore are inconsistent with abiding in our presence. We do not slander or speak evil of anyone else. We do not do anything that would harm and wrong someone. We do not take up a reproach even when someone has abused or hurt us. We do not misuse our money but practice good stewardship. We are not motivated in trying to get excessive gain or profit. We will not take a bribe against the innocent. There may not be money, this may be not be money, but we avoid taking advantage of another person to exchange our reputation or status. Let us pray. Lord, I desire to dwell in your presence. You are holy and I am unworthy. But you are my righteousness. Help me to walk with integrity. Do that which is righteous and speak truth in my heart. That my relationship with you will never be shaken. In Jesus' name, Amen. Maybe if it is possible for you, write those things down, those five positives and five negatives, and practice this in our lives. May God bless you. And may you dwell in God's presence and enjoy it. Every day. And I pray that this will be possible because our days are always different. And sometimes it's difficult to grasp that intense presence and knowing that God is always there. And indeed, He will never forsake us. Walk your way with Christ, with a deeper understanding and the experience of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. Bye.